Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with these past notes, man. Now, the past notes, the link to the past notes will be down in the description, so don't even worry about that. If by some weird twist of fate you're not able to read them on the screen, then, uh, you know, you can go to Facebook.com and the link is in the description. But anyway, man, we're just going to go right through these right here. This is the patch uh, NBA 2K17 patch uh, 1.04 notes. I don't know why they call it 1.04. Why don't they call it patch 4? I don't know. Who knows, right? But you know what it is, what it is, man. And they got the they got the dog Paul George on the front, man. But let's just get right into it, man. Let me just give y'all give y'all what they get. The biggest thing that we already knew was that they fixed the shot meter. But... Uh, that was the main thing, but uh, there's some other gameplay fixes that they say they fixed or what have you. It's already out on PS4. It's going to be coming to the Xbox whenever. We normally get it a week late on the Xbox, so you know it is what it is. But let's just get right into it, man. So it says, corrected the issue. Well, it's, um, I'm sorry. Connect. Cor ah, I can't even talk, damn it. Corrected an issue where some post-release uniform colors would clash with the opposing team's uniform in certain matchups. Like, do we even care? Like, that's that's not even a big deal. I mean, I guess it's a big deal to somebody, but you know it is what it is. After a made basket, the score will no longer update on the scoreboard until after the animation has completed. This should be much, much less confusing. Huh? So, I guess, like, what, what was it? When people were scoring, it would, it would I, I guess it's going to update, like, the part where, where it will score and then it will wait a couple of seconds and then it will update or something. I guess, I don't know. That, that, that don't seem that important to me. Fix the case where friends, where your friends list in the who's online menu would disappear while viewing it. Yeah, my mine did that a lot. I thought there was something that was already, already uh, addressed, but I guess I, maybe I just got lucky. But that happened. I, I, that was actually in one of the videos that I put up. So you know, it is what it is. Contact dunk animations should now properly stay equipped on your my player. So that's cool. I mean, contact dunks. Uh, I didn't see it say anything about uh, you being able to change your park dunks because that's something that's that's huge that uh, that we need changed and uh, you know some some other stuff like that. But hey, it's a start, man. So you know we got to go a week. Well, we got to go. The relentless finisher badge to now give the proper bonuses on contact layups when leveling it up. I I, I guess now that was something for the slashes. My homeboy Rampage he had the issue where once he got the relentless finisher badge he couldn't make another layup, so it didn't even matter. And then I guess they went and did some tuning and fix that, and then, so now it's working, but you know, it is what it is, uh, but, you know, Slash is OP as a motherfucker anyway right now, so, he, hey, I'm not gonna tell you nothing, but, hey, if they fixed it, then they fixed it, you know, it is what it is, fixing extremely rare hang, uh, that could occur when a player was attempting to grab a rebound, I, I never experienced that, so, you know, it is what it is, this is what we all came here for, the My Park and Pro-Am, so, uh, let me fix the case where certain jump shot animations will result in the shot meter reporting an incorrect, very late timing during high latency situation. That's what. It, look, that's a fancy way of saying the damn snap back. The jump, the, the jump shot meter. If you made a custom jump shot with snapping back like a motherfucker, it didn't matter what happened. You can change parks, and, uh, and like I said, like I told people, it would work until it didn't. But once it didn't work anymore, it was a wrap. So you know it is what it is, man. So hey. Uh, glad they fixed that. They fixed the broken jump shot meter glitch. Now my video. Y'all just kill my video. It's no, it's no longer gonna get no damn views. Shit. Anyway, uh, addressing this issue where, where you would not be granted a win if the opponent disconnected during pro-am walk-on or, uh, or slash team walk-on, I mean slash team pro-am games under certain conditions. I, I hadn't experienced that. I, yes, 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 we did because we got more than 15 wins in pro-am, but people would quit, so we wouldn't get our wins. So, yeah, that, that definitely is something that we needed. Uh, Using the ante up will now always be presented with the correct ante up amount prior to the joining the uh, the got next queue. I guess that was a glitch where you were able to just get unlimited VC or whatever, like people would try to play you if they didn't have the right amount of ante up, uh, or if they didn't have the right amount of VC, they could get on the spot anyway and then it would just kick them off or lag them out you'd be playing against the computer. Swante was talking about that, man. So I guess they fixed that. Hey, like he said, anything... Y'all know that anything having to do with VC is going to get patched immediately. But we've been waiting three patches for the jump shot glitch to get fixed, though. You know, it is what it is, but it's all good. All right, so uh, my court, my, my career in my court, 
And uh, this would be the end right here, man. So it says, correctly the case that that would result in loading into a black screen heading into the game. I mean, we, we know the black screen glitch. People on Xbox just would hit YB and or hit the guy button, and we just keep messing around with it until it got fixed. But glad to know that it's fixed. Connection events will now always appear on the schedule once you agree uh, once you agree slash set them up. That's something good, even though Man Man Grind Hard and Brutus Sim put out the fix to that anyway, you know, the way that you could you could get your connections back rolling or whatever. But, uh, hey, it's, it's good to know that if you hadn't watched those videos, then you can still get your connections right. Um, address the hang that would occur when attempted to enter the three-point contest or the dunk contest or when your my career was injured. That's my dog, Cypher Jedi. He was having that issue, man. It was like once, once you win, if you try to do the three-point contest, or the dunk contest in your my career if your player was hurt you can never play my career again you just couldn't play it again you can just load into your court and then try to do something else so that's good and then fix the hang that would occur when loading into a live practice when a number of uh players on your team was simultaneously injured i never had that issue uh but you know uh i guess somebody did man but you know it is what it is man like i said and it says all patch fixes will work with existing game mode saves so you don't have to create another uh you don't have to create anything else. All you got to do is just go right out there and play. Um, after you do this 7 gig update, you should be good to go. I mean, there's been some monstrous updates and all that good stuff, man. The only thing that I think anybody really cares about is the shot meter glitch, man. But like they said, it is what it is. Um, it's out on PlayStation now. Xbox will be getting it pretty soon. And uh, that's about it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, video. And I uh, hope this helps somebody out. So uh, let's get out there and get patching and get playing. And I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! 360 out this motherfucker!